<laughs> Hi everybody. <laughs> Welcome to Storytellers of Mallorca. So lucky and so grateful to have with us such a, a beautiful lady as our first guest. Beverly Pugh, thank you very much for coming on yeah, onto this with us excited. here. Excited. It is, it is. <laughs> Beverly's well known on the island here and she is such a wise woman. It's such a, a privilege and an honor to, to spend time with her. So Beverly, please tell us a little bit about yourself and how long you've been on the island. Wow, well, um, I came to the island in 1964. Wow, okay. That, yeah, 1964 it was, yep, so yep. it's quite a long time now. Um, yeah, amazing. There was absolutely nothing here when we came to New York. Uh, we lived in Santa Ponsa, there was only one block of apartments there, absolutely zero, nothing else. No other buildings, it was the only block of apartments. And I can remember then um, we had, uh, we were living in an apartment with electricity, gas stove, an electricity cooker. Um, but there was no electricity. <laughs> <Okay>. so, <laughs> so we had to um, drive into Calamayor, which was the, the scene, and yes. the best place to be yes. at that time, yeah, yeah. every day. And um, actually, my father used to let me drive the car. Okay. So I wasn't at a driving age by then. I, right. was, I was a teenager, but I wasn't driving age. There was no police, no cars. Right. And uh, it was exciting for me. Yes, yeah. yes, yeah, yeah. So you've been here, been here a long time. 60 so years. 60 years, yeah, goodness yeah. gracious. Yeah. So that, that's, that's wonderful. Yeah. Um, and you've always wanted to be here? Um, at the beginning, I hated it because oh. there were, I, I didn't know anybody. I left all my hen, my friends behind. Yeah. But now there's not no other place that I'd like to be. Sure. I love the island. We have a beautiful island. Um, it has grown an awful lot, and some places are over very crowded. Mm. But even though we have beautiful nature out into the country, beautiful spots. Yes. I, it's stunning. Absolutely yes. stunning. Yes. Yeah. Yes, yeah. So originally your family were from Europe? Or yeah, from they were from, uh, my parents were English. Okay. Uh, yeah. And um, we were brought up in, in a beautiful northern country in Leeds. Okay. Uh, a lovely village. Yes. We used to go riding every day and my parents had the village store. They were very, very brave actually to come over here in 1964 mm. with nothing. You know, they were starting up um, a business. They were pioneers. So we opened up the first... Um, English restaurant. Okay. Yeah, wow. In Calamayor. Yes. Wow. And um, yeah, and it was just the beginning of the of the uh, tourist boom then. Right. When people were coming to New York for twenty five pounds per week. Really? I don't. I can't remember whether it's a week or two weeks. But it was. <laughs> that was the money went a long way. Yeah. Long way, those ways from there. But you've had a lot of other businesses and ventures. Yes, actually, it's been quite ex well, quite a ride. You know, I've done so much here. Um, I worked as a, a tourist guide, before that I was working with British Leyland, I also became a racing driver and did Women's Championship, wow. uh, Mallorca wow. and uh, Catalonia, and then I, um, I had an empire actually here with my, with my ex-partner, Yes. huge empire but, um, on the island, but I wasn't happy. So I decided to just let go of everything and walked away with empty hands and started up a new life in alternative therapies right. as a reflexologist, yes. a Reiki master, rebirther. Then I founded um, the Bodana Wellness Center right. in Palma with massages. My dream was to have massage on the beach mm -hmm. and in hotels and I achieved that. And uh, absolutely amazing, we had um, a massage in Ibiza, Minoka, Calamillo, Santa Ponsa, and um, then I sold that, I think it was about 10, 15 years ago, mm -hmm. and um, even then, during that time, I became um, a vegan, uh, I trained uh, as a Hippocrates Health Educator okay. in the number one health medicinal spa in the world, in, in the USA, and uh, opened up um, the only vegan and raw certified organic restaurant making medicinal food wow. in Mallorca and actually in the whole of Spain and uh, yeah and unfortunately I lost that during the pandemic right yes yeah, yeah, the yeah pandemic. exactly exactly and left with a whole load of debts and um, yeah, yeah now yeah, new yeah. venture yeah wonderful that, that's, mm. that's, that's, that is great I mean so many things that you've done in the time that you've been here and you've never really wanted to move away yeah. I mean this has been home and it 
And it is like a magnet, isn't it? Absolutely. You know, we've talked about this before, yeah. how, how much of a magnet it is. If, yeah. you, if you have a problem, it magnifies until you deal with it. Yeah. Or if you're in the therapy healing field, then, um, then you're supported. So, isn't it? It sort of comes in behind yeah. you, yeah. like a nice breeze, and then you call it. Yes. So, yeah. Yeah. But all the time here, it wasn't all roses. You, you no, had some struggles. Very, very hard struggles, especially when I when I separated from from my ex and decided to leave everything behind because I had everything that any woman ever wants. You know, my parents said you're absolutely crazy. You've got everything, mm -hmm. but money isn't everything. No, and, no. Um, so I was wanting to grow spiritually and, and it was very, very difficult to do it in the environment that I was in. Mm. And in those days I used to smoke and I smoked two packets of cigarettes a day. Wow. I used to drink whiskey and brandy. <laughs> <laughs> you say that with a little, yeah, little girl. Like, little... <laughs> yeah, but I mean it's been over 35 years that I haven't had any alcohol at all. Wow. You know, zero and no smoking. No. And, uh, went forward into a vegetarian lifestyle yes and uh, yeah it's just taken me on an amazing journey and um, I actually have seen the spiritual um, community grow here in mm -hmm. Mallorca immensely yes. I mean it was very very difficult at the beginning because as one of the first reflexologists if not the first or the second mm -hmm. on the island and people would say to me what do you mean you're going to touch my feet and you're going to get rid of my headache. <laughs> I said, yeah, don't believe you. And then yes, when yes, I got yes. into the raw food, it was exactly the same. You know, people said to me, what do you mean raw food? Right, right. People don't want raw food. Yeah. Spanish people are not going to understand what you're talking no, about. No, and my no. father wouldn't come to, to the house to have food. He said, I don't want rabbit food. You right, know? Right. So I pioneered the, the raw food movement in Spain, which was very difficult. You know, yes. that, that's for maybe 24 years now. Yes, yes. And now people are just beginning to wake up to yep. more healthy food. Yes. And um, how living food can make you alive. Yes, definitely. definitely. Yeah. And, and, and looking at yourself as well. I mean, a prime example, really, of health and vitality. Thank you. Really, you Thank know, you. and, and that, that's a part of it because we grew up, I grew up in the generation of meat and three veg. Yeah, me too. You know, every day. Every day. Every day. Potato and, and vegetables. And soup. Hot soup. Yeah, my hot father soup. wanted the yeah. soup on the table every day. <laughs> really? Oh my gosh. Even in the summer. Right, yes, yes. Uh, yeah, and my yeah. mother wanted to be vegetarian and he wouldn't let her. Really? No, no, no. no. A different era, wasn't it? Yeah. A different era and, yeah. and it is. It's, yeah. uh, he said, you have to have your meat every day. You know, meat and potatoes, just exactly like you. Yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm. If um, the people that are looking at this who may be interested to, to come and live in Mallorca, um, what is one piece of advice that you could give to them before they came here? To do a research, because it's not mm -hmm. easy to find anywhere to live right now. Right. It's rather difficult. It's actually, the, the island was um, very much invaded during the pandemic, mm -hmm. you know, and a lot of people decided they wanted to leave their country and come to Mallorca. Yes. And so it's not easy to find somewhere to live right now, no. and even to find a room. Yes. Um, people are having huge difficulty, but not just Mallorca, I think it's all over Spain as well at the moment. So definitely do your research. Yes. And um, if you're doing it with an agency, make sure that they are um, a reputable yes. company yeah. before making a set mm -hmm. you know, to go forward. That's definitely. Yeah. Yes, yeah, mm -hmm. yeah, for sure. It really is doing your homework, um, doing your due diligence on, on all areas. Mm -hmm. and, uh, and I know for myself, as seeking advice. From one, people that live here have gone yes. through the, the yeah. system, mm -hmm. um, but also from lawyers or the or the companies that are here that help you yeah. get through it. Which instead of we went through the whole whole line, where um, the whole situation, where it was, um, we've had to wait in line for hours and hours and hours yes. at a time to, to to go through this. But there are companies on the island here who do that for you. They do. They yes. So you, people need to do the research and find reputable companies yes. yeah. uh, because that's very important because a lot of people have come to the island and they've taken advantage yes. of people arriving, new people who don't know anything and yes. taking them for a ride. Yeah, so for sure. definitely do your yeah. research beforehand. Yeah. 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 I guess that them. happens all over the world, but it, um, yes, yes. unfortunately. Yes, yes, yeah, but, no, yeah. It, it does. And uh, even though they speak the same language or from the same country doesn't mean 
that they are no. all good people. Yeah. So, you know, listen yeah. to your gut, listen yeah. to your feelings gut a little feeling. bit. Yeah, really, yeah. really, that from there. Mm. But when you get through the process, and, and of course the Spanish system, you know better than myself, is very much mañana. Everything is mañana. Everything. And, yeah, and especially, you know, in, in August, yes. everything just closes down. <laughs> yeah. You know, yeah. there's nothing yeah. that you can't buy anything, you no. can't go anywhere, you can't no. get into the... Yeah. You know, yeah, no it. legal papers can be done no, in August, no. and then and now we've got Easter coming up, and yeah. Easter that's another. You know, people take advantage Thursday, Friday, Saturday, Sunday. Then we've got Easter Monday. Yes, that's huge. Nothing. Yeah. New. So everything gets back north. Yes, and, yeah, and, yes. And then Christmas. Wow, yeah, Christmas yeah, is just, yeah. you know, so long. Yeah, it, for sure. Because it, after Christmas, then we have the Three Kings celebration. That's right. Yes, yeah. And that yeah. goes up to the sixth, seventh of March. Right. Uh, sorry, January. Yes. So, yes. 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 Yeah. yeah, yeah, I, yeah. Christmas yeah. is really. I mean. Yeah, no. yeah, it's a long time, and let alone if you've got children, yeah. then for the summer holidays, yes. almost three months, three months holiday. long, and oh, you have to be aware of this, and, and yeah. if you're having someone to babysit, or yeah. having to put them into school, it's yeah. an extra cost, but it's, it's a long time, yeah. so there's, long there's a lot from there. Yeah. Um, was there a time when you didn't want to be here? At the beginning, mm. I didn't want to be here at all, because I didn't have any friends. Sure. Um, as I say, we were living in Santa Ponce and there was absolutely nothing. Mm. And um, unfortunately, my parents didn't put me to school. Mm -hmm. um, I was at a school age, but um, they didn't put me to school. They gave me, they told me, you know, make your choice. What would you like to do? Would you like to go to school or would you like to go to work? So, at the teenager, you know, okay, I'd love to go to work yes, in my parents' yes. restaurant. Sure. So, so it was very difficult for me at the time, but I did meet up with some Spanish girls, mm -hmm. uh, Mallorquin girls, a family of eight children, and um, they spoke English. Wow. Amazing, okay. those yes. days, they yes. spoke yes. English. Yes. And so... Um, we got a visitor, come to say yeah, hi. Yeah, we got company. <laughs> we have, we have. You're in the picture. Yes, and, you are. And um, so I, I spent an awful lot of time with them, with their family. Right. Of, because I saw their family grow and I spent, you know, many times eating at their house and mm -hmm. everything. And, um, uh, yeah, and I saw their children grow and, yes. their, you know, they were having babies and I was speaking right. to the babies in Mayoquin. And right. I learned yes, to speak yes, Mayoquin yes. with the children right. growing up. So, and we're still friends. Yes, yes. Still today. friends with the family, yeah. which is yeah. amazing. Yeah. 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 No, that, that, that's great. Yeah. Just the sort of the last on the little, on the, on the, on the negative side a little bit, was there something that you didn't get over while you were here? Um, was there a situation that, that, that just sort of has stayed with you from being in Yeah, in I couldn't in get in contact with Radio Luxembourg. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> that was huge for me because in England I used to go to bed with my transistor radio and listen to Radio Luxembourg and I couldn't get it and that oh, was no. devastating. Oh no. That no, was one no, of the no. most negative no. things but apart from that, um, yeah, once I got in with my friends yes. and um, yeah, and it, it was very interesting because it, it was the Franco days, right? Franco, difficult days. Yes. But I was the first woman to ride a motorbike, have a motorbike, ride a motorbike with wearing trousers. Wow! Wow! So, oh my gosh! <laughs> that was a sight. Oh my gosh! You know, a blonde yes. lady yes, wearing yes. A, wearing trousers, riding on a motorbike when all the women were wearing side riding side saddles right. with their skirts, yes, knees yes, tight yes. together, holding on to their partner, you know, it was, um, wow, it was a sight to see, wow. so all of a sudden there was me there. Yes, yes, <laughs> but, but the radical transformer and, and leading leading the way, leading yeah. the way, so no, yeah. no, that's good. So it was only a, a short time, a matter of a year or a couple of years after you, you were here that you started to fall and, and, yes. and this was home for you. This was home. Yeah. This was home, and um, I had a wonderful job as a as a tourist guide, and I could go backwards and forwards to England mm -hmm. on flights, which didn't cost anything at that time. Yes, and um, you know, working with the tourists and helping them to understand about the island and showing them the island and yes, yes. taking them on tours. It was very exciting. It was very exciting. Yeah, 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 yeah. And the positives. What's what's one of the or two or three of the things that you really enjoy about being here? I can see the sea every day. Yes. Yeah, that is just absolutely mind blowing for me. Um, it's beautiful. I'm able to leave my house and just one minute from, and I can sit by the sea or walk by the sea or go swimming. But depending on the, the time of the year, uh, that's amazing. So we got to talking about living by the sea and being able to swim every day. 
I mean, that is that is special here. It really, very, is. Yeah. very special. Yeah. Yeah. It's a gift, actually. Yes. I really do believe it's a gift, and uh, I feel blessed to be able to do that every day. Yeah. Amazing. Yeah. yeah. Wonderful energy. I can go down in the morning, and then I go back down again in the night. Um, just as the sun goes down, so I can do a little bit of sun gazing at the same time. Mm -hmm. The sea is not as clean in the summer sure. at that time of the day, um, but even so, yes. you know, it's well worth it. Yeah, yeah. Uh, nice. And um, I'm not sure whether when we got cut off here or not, we talked about your apartment, but it is very zen like here, yeah. and the garden behind is beautiful. Yeah. And you're saying that you grow your own vegetables. I grow my own in. in um, in the, in the boxes, the wooden boxes that I had in my restaurant, mm -hmm. uh, when the restaurant closed down, I bought them here and I filled them with veggies. Wow, excellent. And um, actually, I, I eat quite a lot now. It's been, I had a trial period at the beginning. Yes. And now I've got lettuces and rucola mm -hmm. and onions and parsley and celery and yeah, I'm yeah, yeah, just yeah. planting as much as possible. Yeah, for sure, because we hear the stories of what could be coming up, yeah. and the more self-sufficient we can be. Absolutely, I think it's very important, even if you can put it in, you know, plant pots and yes. put it in your garden window or yes. your kitchen window and start growing your own things. And what I do do a lot as well is I, I do a lot of sprouting. Okay, yes. And I have been doing sprouting for over 20 years now since I, since I became a health educator. Yeah. And uh, because the sprouts are the most powerful food on planet Earth, because they're alive when you eat them. Yes, yes. And so, consequently, it's making you alive at the same time. Sure. So I, I have as many as much um, green juices or green smoothies as possible. Right. And lots of sprouts. Um, I'm not a hundred percent raw. I was a hundred percent raw for 15 years mm -hmm. and then I just sort of petered off into having something cooked, maybe quinoa or millet or something like that. But now I've got a tendency to go back again. Sure. I'm wanting to, um, to become a hundred percent raw again. Yes. And, um, because that's the way I feel that my body wants at, and, I, and I feel much better than when I have any cooked food sure. as well. Sure, mm. sure, sure, sure. I mean, yeah, it really is the, the, the way to go and to yeah. move into that. So if, if people were wanting to do that, how would you suggest that they move into this? They have to do it step by step, you yeah. know. Um, you can't, I only suggest that people go 100% raw if they have any kind of um, uh, serious illness. Mm -hmm. And then I would say 100% they have to be committed. Yes. But um, I, I give consultations mm -hmm. and they, we can go step by step. And first, I'd suggest cutting out meat, and uh, that would include fish as well. Yes. And then dairy, and and we'll go from there. Right. But they people need to understand if they do want to make that decision, you know, how to go uh, yes. how to go forward. Yes. Yeah. Okay. And for sure. How to supplement and which are the best foods to to use. Yeah. So there are no deficiencies. Sure. Yeah. Yeah. No. No. Mm. no. Um, besides um, working with that and doing consultations with that, what other business areas and things are you doing? Exciting. Yeah, <laughs> very exciting. Exciting because, you know, when I, I lost my business mm -hmm. and I was devastated and I came home and cried for days and days and weeks. And then all of a sudden a friend called me from the States, which we had met there when I was studying at the um, Institute mm -hmm. uh, to study to be a health educator. And he said, um, I'm onto this thing. He said, you know, it was there when we were, we spoke about it when you were there, mm -hmm. um, stem cell patches. And I said, well, yeah, tell me about it. So he told me all about it. And I said, okay, what do I have to do? And he said, well, you have to enroll and you have to do this and this. And I said, oh my goodness, that's <laughs> too far over my head. I can't do that. I don't know anything about marketing, network marketing. I don't know anything about that either. So anyway, he continued to talk to me every day. He called me from the States every day to explain more and more and more. And on the Friday evening, when um, we finalized the conversation, I said, look, because of the time distance, I'm going to bed. It was late. Yes. Um, but we kept on chatting on WhatsApp. And he said to me, yeah, because the packaging is much better. I said, well, what do you mean the packaging? He said, well, the packaging equals genitalia. I said, what do you mean? He said, well, I'm not going to say it outright, <laughs> exactly what he said, but yeah. um, his 
bedroom performance had improved by length and width. Wow, so gentlemen yeah, 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 sure. Yeah. So anyway, I said, oh my goodness, what a good sales spot you've got there. Anyway, I said, this was Friday evening. I said, I'll let you know on Monday. So Monday I joined. Amazing. I've been doing the stem cell patches, which is the one that I'm wearing here now, which yes, um, yes. activates your own stem cells. Right. Um, it's, it's nothing about um, aborted fetuses injected mm -hmm. or a mm -hmm. cord or, or anything like that. And it's activating your own stem cells because at the age of 30, our stem cells go into decline. Right. At the age of 60, only 10% of our stem cells are working. Really? Yes. And yes. at the age of 80, they're dormant. Right. So that's why we age and we become ill. So I've been using these patches now for, um, yeah, that's the cat, she's just yes. <laughs> saying, I know you're the team roof. Um, for going on for 16 months now, right. I'm seeing a late, actually it's age reversal as well. So people don't believe you should believe me when I tell them my age. Mm -hmm. um, I'm going on 74. Yes, I know, yeah, that's wonderful, really. Yeah, 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 yeah. Uh, in two months time, actually. And, yes. um, and yeah, it's, um, hundreds of testimonials right and I knew about the company actually when I was in the States um, the, the life wave had just just launched in yes. 2004 but it wasn't my time mm. but I do remember that I did try with I was studying life blood analysis then and I and I did try um, taking this blood sample from somebody who was very ill and checking their blood which was in a terrible state putting a patch on them and then for five minutes later, taking a blood sample again, putting it under a microscope, and seeing how everything had changed, yes. which was absolutely mind blowing. But it wasn't my time; it no. wasn't the right time for me. Sure. But now the right time is here. Yes. And I'm seeing absolute miracles happening with people with um, Parkinson, mm -hmm. um, or, or autism, yes, um, arthritis, yes, uh, arthro uh, arth mm -hmm. arth uh, um, osteo. I can't right. even say the word, yes, the word yes. properly yes, yes, uh, in yes. English, and um, and the big C as well, which sure. I don't want to mention. No. Um, but a reduction of tumours and mm -hmm, pain mm -hmm, and mm -hmm, yeah. mental clarity. Yes. People's hair growing back. Wow. Well, yes. Um, yeah. Yeah. People yeah. being able to walk again that couldn't walk. Yes. Uh, even myself, I'm noticing a huge difference. Yes. You know? Yes. I mean, some of the latest figures of uh, of showing the decline of people's health and well-being with um, um, Alzheimer's yeah. uh, and, and that as well. I mean, it's, it's, I think it's down to one in three yeah. now, if, yeah. not, if not even you know, yeah. greater than that. We're seeing amazing results with children, autistic children right. as well, Yes. and Alzheimer's. Because the first thing that I noticed when I put the patch on, although I had mental clarity, especially for my age and because the way I was eating, but it was putting the patch on and having noticing immediately. Even then, I could say that there was a brain fog slightly lifting. Right. You know. Right. Although I didn't have brain fog. Yes. Obviously, I did yes, because something yes, happened. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Um, so people are seeing immediate results. Some people see within a minute. Yes. Some people need 24 hours, a week, mm -hmm. a month, and we recommend that people put the patches on. For yeah. Three months, sure. which is what the clinical studies have been done by the mm -hmm. amazing David Smith. Yes, yes, yeah. yes. He's so a if genius, pe absolute if people genius. are uh, very interested in this, and we'll put the details down yeah, below, okay. and they can they can get they hold can of you. They can contact me, and yeah, yeah, I'm open to, you know, helping people. Yes. My my goal in life is to be able to help people as much as possible, and this yeah. I've been doing. Um, not realizing that I was doing that helping people for uh, over 40 years sure, now. Sure, so, sure, sure, sure. Um, and David Smith, the goal is to patch one billion people by the, uh, one billion people by the, by 2025. Right, okay. So as many people we can help. Yes, yes, know, yes, yeah, yeah. With nothing goes inside the body. No. Nothing goes into the stomach, nothing goes through the skin. Just by putting a patch on, yep, miracles yep, happen. Yep. Yeah, yeah. I mean, I don't like to talk about miracles, but we are seeing miracles. Sure. I mean, I had a miracle the other day, which I was crying for two days after this. You know, there was um, I was in an event with my granddaughter, and there were, just while I was waiting for my granddaughter to come out, a lady with a baby, a five-month-old baby, in her arms, she fell over, and the baby bumped its head on the on mm. the on the road. Huge bump. Yes. On the bump, on the baby, and the baby was screaming, 
And I asked the lady if I could do some healing. She said yes. In the meantime, my granddaughter came along. I said, please run to my bag, mm -hmm. to the car and get my bag. And I had some patches in there. And I asked permission to put patches on the baby. And she said yes. So I put two patches on, one on either side of her forehead. And you could see the baby calming down immediately. And you could see the color of the mm -hmm. bump, which mm -hmm. was then blue, red, yellow, all colors, just disappearing. Right. In less than five minutes, the baby was calm. And um, yeah, 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 two yeah. hours later, there was nothing there. Yeah, I mean, that's it. And it really miracle, is. Yeah, absolute yeah, miracle. Yeah, really, really. And, and I've seen the photos. Emotional. I have yeah. seen the photo yeah. you showed me them. So, yeah. you know, that's, that's, that is amazing. So, yeah, yeah. for sure. Um, <clears throat> is there anything else that you'd like to share? With, with people who are looking here, who maybe, you know, about, about your story, about being in Mallorca or anything else? Um, yeah, get involved with your spiritual community. Mm -hmm. um, there's a lot of us here now. Um, and uh, yeah, stay in contact with the yeah. spiritual community, yeah. grow together. Yeah. I think that's important, grow together, share. Yes. And. Um, yeah. yeah, and you're doing an amazing work as well. Thank you. So Thank you. Uh, yeah. yeah, I'd like to recommend you as well. Thank you. Yeah, everything that yeah. you're doing, wonderful, beautiful soul, and uh, you have a beautiful daughter. I haven't met your wife yet. Not yet. Yeah. No, no, no. Yeah. You will soon. Yes, yes, so, yes. So um, yeah. yeah. Thank you for your yeah. work that you're doing. Yeah. Yes. And and Mallorca is bringing together a lot of very very special people. Yes, it is. Yes, yeah. at this time, it, yeah. it, it very is. It, it very is. That's mm -hmm. good English. There's a lot of people coming here. Yes, yes, yeah, very um, much so. So the, the island is like a magic, a magnet. <laughs> it's, <laughs> it's, 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 it's mag magical magic. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. So it's bringing us all together. It is. It is. It is. Stay with your either. tribe. Stay with your people. Yes. Yes, um, and if you haven't got one, look at no, joining one yes. or starting one. Yes, you know, yes. a tribe, a community, a family, mm. very much so. Yeah. Yes, yeah, 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 yeah. So, yeah, no. so that we can all grow together. Yes, yeah, 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 yeah. No, for and sure. Learn and teach and yes. learn and continue yeah. to learn because, yeah. as far as I'm concerned, um, life is a huge university. Yes, we're here to learn as much as mm. possible. Yeah. and in fact, there's not enough time in a lifetime to be able to learn everything no. that we want no. to learn. And um, no. I'm I, I working with physical immortality, so that where that's going to take me, I don't yeah, know. Yeah, no, great. I great, need to great. find land to be able to teach people more about physical yes. immortality. Yes. But um, yeah, no, no, that's wonderful. my next dream. Yes. Finding land where yes. I can go into the country and, and teach people about physical yeah. immortality. Yeah. Well, yeah. 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 Sounds wonderful. Really, 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 really. <laughs> Thank you. Thanks everybody for looking yeah. and watching on uh, from here. We've had a little bit of fun here to go with a couple of technical things as well, but that's all part of the process. Uh, Beverly Pugh, thank you. Thank you. Thank you. And Moon <laughs> Eye and Love, thank you very much for coming on here for the thank first you. one. And uh, we'll be sharing a lot more with you in the future. Okay. Bye. Bye.